um, there seems to be generally uh, uh, some misconceptions about what gospel music should sound like and it's a shame because now so many people are losing out because now we've been told you no know, gospel is to sound like this or sound like that and the reality is really gospel music per country or per ethnic group or per demographic whatever fancy word you prefer to use is really determined by what the people in that group like to begin with you understand uh, with uh, African people it's uh, our gospel music is going to be based on African music because guess what we're Africans so the drums the same drums that they say are evil and what what and all these things uh, you know the the way of chanting ululating uh, it's how we praise our God and I think God because he made us in our diversity is cool with that and honestly I think the same applies to a European Christians people of European descent in that they seem to be into the whole rock thing it's, it seems to be their thing and because it's their thing when they when it comes time for them sorry to praise the Lord they're going to do it from their perspective of what they like so you might not like rock music you might think it's demonic uh, it might not resonate with you that is your opinion and you're entitled to think that way but it doesn't have to hold true for those who like uh, rock music and praise the Lord in that manner uh, then we look at the Jamaicans same story what seems to be what they're into it seems to be reggae okay so you're gonna want to say yeah but it's associated with Rastafarianism and what about all these things and what yeah but at the end it's still the sound that they've grown up on that's the sound that they enjoy and when they write gospel music they're going to write it influenced by reggae it's just as simple as that. The most important thing, I think, with gospel is the lyrics and the spirit and intention behind the music. If that is in line with God, then I think it's cool because if you're going to argue about taste, then we're not going to get anywhere. I can tell you now. If you're going to sit and argue about taste and what sounds, uh, you know, heavenly, what sounds horrible, because really, human beings are weird creatures and we have... A weird taste some some people have weird taste so hey it's their thing okay most important thing the spirit behind the music the intention and the lyrics uh, these other things I think you know they they are necessary arguments you can't lock gospel music towards a certain sound or genre even because I mean you even get people who are rappers who are poets whatever these people who you know can unleash the presence of God through their dancing so intention and the spirit behind the music you know that's what we need to concentrate on you cannot lock uh, praising God towards a specific pattern humans are too creative and too diverse for that